Okay, let's say it's not just it's not a particular WWE video I want. Uh, let's just say I want the one that has the most seeds in it. And you could do this for a movie too. Let's say you put in a Terminator or something like that. Uh, and what you want to be able to download the fastest and most likely it doesn't have a virus or anything like that. Uh, you want to get the one that has the most seeds and leechers. Well, pre preferably the one that has the most seeds in it. Now, once, once you, uh, the search is completed and everything. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here and click on seeds. Now that I clicked on seeds, I see over here, this right here is the one that has the most seeds. It's the, the draft, WWE draft. Okay, now I want to make sure that the ones, this right here is not a virus. Best way to tell is actually click on the video right here. Now over here you got details, you can find out what all is in that. And right here you got comments. Now in the comments you can read this. And sometimes you get people like this that does stuff like this. You know, and sometimes you might get one, maybe two, that might say uh, it's a virus or something. But if you're getting every, a lot of people on there saying things work just fine, everything works out fine, no viruses or anything like that, more than likely it's probably okay. But once in a while you get some buttholes that gets on there and wants to say it's a virus and it's not a virus. They're just trying to keep you from downloading. Anyhow, let's go back to general. Now, if I want to go ahead and download this, I will click on download. Now the next thing that comes up is this window right here. It's this one will say open and it's gonna have boot turret right here. I'm gonna click on OK. Now this window is gonna pop up right here. Now sometimes you're gonna see a little video file here, and sometimes you're gonna see a lot of zip files. Okay? Uh, you can still go ahead and download it. Also, let's say if there's stuff on here like a, some other stuff on here that you don't want, you can always uncheck it. Okay? But this right here it looks like a little uh, monitor screen. You always want to keep those on there. Okay, next you're going to hit OK. And now it's going to begin to download. It's going to start out with the red one. And then eventually it's going to turn blue. Now if it doesn't turn blue, then there's something wrong with the download. And then you'll have to go back to uh, uh, Mini Nova and re-download it or re or download it from somewhere else. But give us some time. It takes a minute before it, it goes blue. Now let's go to the other sites that uh, I suggest. Another one is uh, the Pirate Bay. Now Pirate Bay don't always look like this. It normally has a pirate ship right here. But uh, when you go to piratebay.org, again, you do the same thing as you did, did with Mini Nova. You go to Google, type in Pirate Bay, then once you do that, click on the first one. And then it brings you to Pirate, Pirate Bay website. Pirate Bay, you just type in WWE or what, whatever movie you want. You know what? Let's just do a movie this time. Let's do... Uh, Let's do Bolt. Okay, and let's see, we're going to do Pirate Search. And here we go, we got uh, Bolt. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go over here where it says Seats and click on the most seats. Now, the next thing I want to do is decide on what kind of quality I want on the video. Do I want one that's um, DVD quality or do I want one that's someone sitting in a theater uh, with a camera? A lot of times movies don't get DVD quality until it's been out for a little while. Sometimes you can get lucky and it's DVD quality right when it came out. But uh, most of the time you'll be getting a cam version of them. Now right here you see Bolt and it has DVD rip. Well, that's going to be pretty much a uh, DVD quality. Another thing you can look for is if it says R5. If it says R5, then it's probably going to be a DVD quality. 
Oh, by the way, if you get anything from AXXO, normally they have good uh, video downloads, or most of his downloads are pretty good. Okay, I don't see one that says R5 on it, but normally if it has R5 on it, then you know it's DVD quality. Now, another one that you can watch for is called DVD Screener. Now, this one right here is not DVD quality normally, but it's pretty darn close to DVD quality. So, normally the quality of this would be a, a little better than cam. Uh, probably in between cam and DVD. Some of them are, some of them are not. Just gotta, you know, take your chances on it. Now, if you see, like right here where it says cam, uh, this basically means that someone was in a theater with a camera videotaping it in a theater. I normally don't wa like watching cam, but if you like watching cam, that's what you need to look for. Oh, by the way, I'm on mini note. We're looking at this. Now, let's go back to Pirate Bay. Now, in Pirate Bay, the color skulls. I can't remember what the color skulls meant. Pretty much means the level of the uh, tracker that uh, you're downloading from. Um, I like to do ones that has the color skulls on it. Uh, one of them means like VIP or something like that. I don't really remember. Anything, anyways, like we did before on Mini Nova, we want to click on this. And while we're in here, uh, Pirate Bay looks a little different from uh, Mini Nova. You can scroll down a little bit and it gives you details right here. Then you will go down to the comments section and read some of the what some of the people are commenting on it. To tell if it's a virus or if the video quality is good or not. And then you can just go right here where it says download torrent. Now it says you don't want to read what they have to say. Well while you're right here you can just click right here just to go ahead and download the turret without reading what the uh, reading what the, you know everybody's saying about it okay let's go ahead and go back to our downloads all right here, here you go this is exactly what I was saying before if it's staying red then something's wrong with that download and I gotta try it again I'm not gonna go through the process because I really don't care to have this downloaded now let's say you, you have this and you want to delete it you can go ahead and do that you can go down here to remove and delete current or delete current and data that way it deletes everything yes there you go. now look, let's say you've downloaded the program and you have some zip files and you need to extract them or you downloaded a movie and you need to extract them okay this is right here is a zip file yours might look a little different if you have 7-zip or you have uh, tug zip or owl zip or look a little different. Uh, this is a uh, Renoir zip file. Okay, that's it for part two. Click right here for part three.